Hey everybody and welcome to Coding in My Sleep with a special Saturday delivery from Butterfly Labs. So because startlingly coding in my sleep has actually become kind of a big thing in the Bitcoin world, Butterfly Labs was kind enough to send me one of these awesome developer versions of their brand new 5 giga hash uh, jalapeno ASIC devices. I haven't opened the box yet. I figured, why not do it on camera, share it with everybody else. It's actually a pretty nice box. It's a shame they had to put shipping labels over every square inch of it. All right. So, on off the back, solid packaging. Now one thing, that is a little bit unfortunate. So at the last minute, Butterfly Labs ran into some power issues, which means that basically everything stepped up one case size. So this is the size that the single originally was going to be, and then the jalapeno was supposed to be maybe about that tall, a little slimline, sexier version of this. Um, and it was supposed to be powered off of USB, but since the USB bus puts out like, you know, 5 watts maximum, and this little guy sucks down about 30, 35, that didn't end up happening. So there should also be a, a power brick in here. This is actually almost exactly like my current uh, FPGA single. Alright, so what else have we got? A little box here. Oh, there's the power brick. Let's talk about it. One of these origami shipping things right there contains, oh, well this is very cool of them. This is an adapter from a six pin uh, video card power to a whole bunch of different kinds of barrel jacks. Or actually it looks like three of the same kind of barrel jacks. So you could run probably three different jalapenos or singles or whatever you've got off of one of these connectors if you happen to be the kind of person like I am who's going to rig up an ATX power supply and plug one of these into it. And um, of course a USB cable looks to be uh, not your standard micro USB, but I, I forget the identifier for this one. It's the, it's the kind you get with a, a digital camera or a, or a USB microphone. It's got, I don't know if I can get that in the that's standard. All right, so real quick before I plug this in, I'm just going to take a quick glance at the hash rate distribution chart here because I don't want to, you know, accidentally push anyone over 51%. Not that 5 giga hash is a lot, but when Butterfly Lab starts shipping the big guns that have a much higher hash rate, it's probably going to be a really important thing for you to do. Uh, I normally mine at BTC Guild. They've been kind of pushing it lately, but right now they only have about 35%, so I should be safe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready. Let's plug in power. It's real simple. It's just a barrel jack and a USB port on the back. Alright, plugging it in. The fan spins up nicely. A little red light on the front there informing me that it's active. And let's plug in USB. Uh oh, device driver software was not successfully installed. Alright, I'm going to have to pause this and go find drivers. Okay, so that was a little bit embarrassing. I, I should have thought to install the drivers beforehand, but I didn't think it was a big deal since almost universally every computer is going to have these pre-installed. It's, it's, it's an FTDI driver and a USB serial port driver. It's something that's pre-installed most of the time, but apparently it wasn't pre-installed this time. So now that I've reinstalled, I've properly installed those drivers, let's give this another shot. Power, red light, That appears to have recognized correctly. Let me just double check here. Yep, there it is, USB serial port. All right, so now I've gone ahead and pre-configured my mining software here. I've got a batch file that I usually use and I've just given it its own unique worker over at BTC Guild. And this is a BFG Miner. This is actually a special build of BFG Miner. I don't think it's public just yet. I actually got this directly from Butterfly Labs for testing. 
Um, but it should be public in the next couple of days probably, certainly before these products are actually shipped out the door to consumers. Uh, the standard BFG Miner software can be used, but it's not going to be quite as efficient. This one's been tweaked a little bit for this one device. So I'm going to go ahead and start the miner. on in here, get a close up on this, and it's accepting work, and submitting shares, and it's averaging, depending on which uh, time span you're looking at, between 4.5 and 5.7 giga ash, which is about what it's supposed to. I'm going to go over here to BTC Guild real quick and refresh. And there are 46 accepted shares from the jalapeno. And we'll come back in a couple of minutes to see if BTC Guild's hash rate is matching BFG miners, which I expect that it should. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes now, and uh, BFG miner has kind of settled into a little bit of a groove here. And BTC Guild, I'm going to refresh the page real quick here, has also settled into a little bit of a groove here. I've got 763 shares, 100% accept rate, of course. And it's settling at about 5.5 giga hash. Let me see if I can zoom this a little bit to make my wife's job on the camera a little bit easier. So there it is right there. There's our jalapeno hashing at 5.5 gigahertz or 5,500 mega hash. Um, I'm going to pause this one more time and I'm going to go set up a kilowatt so we can see exactly how much power this thing is using. Alright, so I've got my kilowatt out and now it all zeroed and go ahead and uh, plug this in and the power supply yeah there we go zeroes right back out plug in my jalapeno and no USB plugged in just yet so just sitting idle uses 13 watts or so I'm gonna go plug in the USB real quick alright so USB is plugged in I'm gonna go ahead and start my miner come over here and it's firing up thirty watts pretty much right on the nose it fluctuates a little bit but it's mining thirty watts So. Where do we stand on this? Um, the jalapeno obviously is a lot bigger than it was initially supposed to be. Uh, I know this is kind of an engineering challenge. There's not a lot the Butterfly Labs could have done about it. It eats more power than it was supposed to by the original spec. But this really isn't a surprise to anyone. They've been pretty vocal about the shortcomings in their design. Um, which is a little bit unfortunate because one of the primary benefits that Butterfly Labs had over, say, Avalon was that their devices were supposed to be small and sexy and consume a lot less power. And by comparison, they still are. This is absolutely a, a much smaller, sexier device than the desktop PC-sized Avalon device. But this is also the jalapeno that was supposed to be the size of a cup warmer. I've seen preliminary designs for uh, the upcoming single case. They've actually had to make the single case a little bit bigger. Um, a lot bigger, actually. Uh, but it still looks good. It still looks pretty sleek and pretty nice, and I think it's going to be a really good product. I don't know what the power specs on that one are going to be like, whether they're going to actually hit what's listed on their website right now. Uh, now, Butterfly Lab's plan, if you ordered a jalapeno, they're going to send you a jalapeno, because it's 5 giga hash, just like the original one was supposed to be. Um, but if you've ordered a single, since the current singles that they can fit in these cases will not hash at the 60 giga hash that they were originally supposed to, they're going to send you multiple singles to add up to the hash rate that you ordered. Uh, now 30 watts is obviously a lot more power than this original device was supposed to consume, which was supposed to be in the range of you know 2.5 to 5 watts because it was going to be USB powered. Um, but 30 watts for 5 giga hash is still a pretty decent mega hash, mega hash to watt ratio. 
Uh, it's a very efficient device, especially compared to the FPGA that I've got upstairs, which you can probably see mining right next to the jalapeno here at, at a whopping 470 mega hash. I've got it underclocked because of that replacement fan that was in the box. Uh, later on, I'm going to go ahead and get out a screwdriver, take this thing apart, and see what makes it tick. But that's going to be for another video. I think that's all I've got in me for today. I'm going to go move this thing to a more stable location and set it hashing. Thanks for watching, everybody.